Hello, it's Friday again. We made it through another week. Woo! <laughs> Today I bring you a charcoal video. I did some earlier in the week, but I had been so focused on trying to get everything on the body right, starting from construction, and it was starting to feel a little constricting. So like like playing a game with too many rules, it's it starts to not be as much fun. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still studying studying the human form and specifically the torso and I definitely understand more now than what I did even a few weeks ago, but I just started to get a niggling feeling that something was missing. So I was browsing through Pinterest for references and sometimes I'll look at other artwork for insp inspiration or to kind of dissect and I was looking at charcoal drawings and I came across one that was just a mess of charcoal but had a few parts that had been lightened or taken down basically using it in a reductive way and then I remembered oh yeah I can erase light parts from the form in the beginning stages instead of trying to construct it from nothing so that's what I did this first drawing was where I changed my starting strategy and put down large smudges of charcoal to work with and I found this method a lot more fun and relaxing for some reason and I think that might be because I was making something out of something that was already on the paper instead of trying to draw something from nothing, which can be quite stressful. And this actually reduced my drawing time. Instead of taking an hour or even more because I'm such a slow worker, it only took 25 minutes. And at the end I was like, am I done already? <laughs> I also had more energy afterwards, so I did more. And I'll post them up on Instagram over the weekend. But because I was more relaxed while drawing and I was able to push the pose, I was able to push the poses a little more as well. And the one I did after this was still, it still, it got a little bit stiff. And after I realized this, the third one I did was much, much more looser and definitely more fun to draw. And I think was the strongest one that I did all week. So, so what's going on here? Well, I guess I loosened up somewhat. Not working from a blank canvas took that stress away to perform. And charcoal is really good for this method, I think. Especially vinyl willow charcoal, it moves around so easily. And it makes a big mess and there is more playtime. So that, I think that is, is important to not be continually stressed while drawing because you're trying to make everything per perfect. And having a bit of playtime in there to find the parts of the drawing that you want to keep. And also being easy to change the parts that you feel like you got wrong. It's, um, it makes a more pleasant experience. So, oh, I also tried using a makeup sponge to move the charcoal around and it worked really well. <laughs> I mean, I might, when I next time I go to the shops, I'll look for different sponges, different shapes and try them out. But that was, that was, a, that was a nice surprise. So once I had most of the drawing down, I did some mark making with compressed charcoal to make the marks a little bit more permanent and stronger, the ones that I wanted, I knew that I wanted to keep uh, because compressed charcoal is a bit darker and it's harder to erase. And then I would stand back and be done with it. <laughs> That's it. Cut. <laughs> um, they all smell like hairspray now. I mean... <laughs> until I can afford to get some more fixative. But that's okay, these pieces are throwaways anyway. I mean, the purpose behind them is, is it's, it's not supposed to be a perfect piece, so there's no, it takes a little bit of that stress away there. Um, although I do keep them in a box, they aren't, they aren't pieces of art, technically. Um, these are done on printer paper, which really isn't quality paper, so not sure, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these with the boxes of drawings that I that I have on printer paper because I have quite a lot lying around. But um, I am trying to do more in my sketchbooks now, but these were a larger size, A3 size, and definitely more for practice, less precious. So I don't stress if they are shit because I can always throw them in the bin if it's that bad. And at some point, I hope I can, I hope I can feel good enough to use my sketchbooks without feeling like I have to rip out half the pages <laughs> because some of them are just so bad and I look at them and I don't want to be reminded I don't want to be reminded of the catastrophe that is the last drawing that I did <laughs> anyway I would re definitely recommend this method of drawing with charcoal for anyone nervous about starting a new drawing or sketch and then just play with it make a mess no stress <laughs> So that's it for Friday's video. I hope to bring you some more. Well, <laughs> I guess.
don't know what I'm doing. I, if, if anyone that watches, I mean, I, I'd imagine there's probably only about two or three of you <laughs> that might watch regularly besides myself. <laughs> You would know by now. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I make it up as I go. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. That's life. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess I'll leave, I'll leave you in peace to watch the rest of this. See you next time. Bye.